What the hell? This looks like the front of a ship. It's like a shack ship restaurant or something. Yeah, it's got a mast up there. Crazy. Ahí es el Estados Unidos. There is the United States. Right across the wall. The wall exists. Of course, it doesn't go all the way across the U.S.-Mexico border, but it does go along a lot of it, especially here in Tijuana, as you saw in those previous clips coming in from the airport. So this is the uh, northern edge of Mexico. I uh, started my trip in Acapulco a couple of weeks ago and went to uh, Zihuatanejo, Ixtapa, Troncones, Morelia, and then flew from Morelia to Tijuana yesterday. And I'm going to be uh, walking across that border either tomorrow or the next day. Not right here, of course. Not a good idea. But uh, at the uh, border checkpoint, which is a little ways that way, I don't know, like 10, 20 miles or something. Look at how uh, colorful this is. Let's get a closer look and... There are people inside of this uh, no man's land. There's some sort of a uh, like group uh, event going on there. You can see Mexican police and looks like that is probably a US police truck. At least they've added a bit of color to this uh, imposing and very symbolic wall separating two very different countries. I hope that uh, there's no problem with going along here. I assume not. And so I have no big plans for today. I'm just going to uh, wander around, find some uh, breakfast in a second. Probably walk down the main road there that goes along the beach. Check things out. My first time in Tijuana. Initial point of boundary between the United States and Mexico. Established by the Joint Commission, October AD 1849. Agreeably to the treaty dated at the city of Guadalupe Hidalgo. January 2nd, AD 1848. What a trip.
so it's hard to see there but it looks like border control agents wondering if that is like a uh, political event of some sort or why they're allowing people inside there are cars parked there as well Here we go, a little better uh, vantage point. Guys on horses. Very interesting. All right, let's uh, walk down the main road. Go find some uh, grub and check out Tijuana, which unfortunately has the distinction of being the most dangerous city on earth by a murder rate per capita. But as always, that is basically an issue that is occurring in certain neighborhoods and not others. I'm sure that around here is pretty safe, not entirely, especially, uh, you know, Saturday nights party action or whatever I'm sure it can get pretty crazy when it isn't COVID times looks like this is a place to go for a beer huh monumental food point very cool That is definitely from some like uh, fairy tale fantasy kind of book or movie or something. I can't uh, think of what it is. Pretty cool. There's a seating upstairs? Yeah. Okay. Like uh, looking out at the sure. beach? Cool. Yeah. I'll go for it. Thank you, man. Muy bueno. Siempre salsa. Excellent. So what is this uh, filet Popeye? Is that a fish or? Yeah. I see. And this fish is? fillet. And this is a... Uh, like prawns, like a... Uh, Camarón and shrimp. Shrimp, I see. Shrimp, yeah. And with the quesadilla, what's uh, what's on the quesadilla? I mean chicken, but uh, is it... Uh, it's coming with uh, rice and salad inside. I see. Do you have guacamole? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe can you do the quesadilla with guacamole? With guacamole. Yeah. Chicken quesadilla. Yeah. Cool. Yes, sir. Right on. And that, folks, is a quesadilla. A real Mexican quesadilla. Two of them, actually. Chicken and cheese. And vegetables. Oh yeah. Rice, french fries, salad, got some guacamole, chips, and salsa. Buen provecho. That's where I'm staying, the Jate Hotel, however you say that. Just stopped to uh, 
drop a few things. This weather is kind of a trip after so much sunny weather in uh, southern Mexico. But it's early May, so summer hasn't arrived yet. Not gonna jump in the water today. All right, let's just... Uh... And so let's just wander down the street here and uh, see what we come across. I'm sure that it is a lot mellower than it would be pre-COVID. This must be a, a happening spot normally. All these restaurants, hotels, the beach just goes for miles. Hola. Ooh, that cat just uh, caught something. Oh, a big old mouse, look at that. No, it's a chipmunk. Nature in action. Predator and prey. <laughs> Looks like he got him for real this time. That was a bit of a trip. So Tijuana is definitely different than I expected. I thought it was gonna be more of a happening scene. It is really just desolate, abandoned. I'm sure that that has a lot to do with uh, COVID, but I thought that there would be kind of more of a, you know, scene along the uh, beach, like kind of Venice Beach-ish, more restaurants with more people around. But uh, this is it. And then it's looking like that is the end of things, at least as far as uh, this uh, part of town up ahead, a fence. And so there's much more of the city, of course, as you saw at the beginning there, stretching out that way all throughout these hills, going inland and along the uh, border, and then more over there. But uh, man, I was like, Knew that Tijuana was going to be kind of scruffy, but was not quite expecting it to be just kind of ghost town, post-apocalyptic looking. And I'm not really in a uh, mood for a big adventure exploring further, so uh, I think I'm just going to Walk back along the beach for a different route going back. Head back to the room and plan to uh, kick back there and work on editing my next video. Huh. It's making some noise, so I guess it works. I don't know.
So I guess this is where the tourist scene would be happening if it was more happening, but you can see, closed, 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 some of them open. But it is definitely on the scruffy side. Look at this thing. like. What's going on? Is that somebody's house or sort of a surfer's uh, restaurant or something? It's kind of open up there. There's my hotel, Jate. What the hell? This looks like the front of a ship. It's like a shack ship restaurant or something. Yeah, it's got a mast up there. Crazy. All right, well, uh, there you go. This is Tijuana. Is it worth visiting? It's worth a stop. But, if this is what you think Mexico is like, then you're missing out on the real beauty and amazingness of most of uh, the rest of Mexico. So if you come to Mexico, maybe stop through Tijuana and then keep on going. There's lots more to see. Hasta luego. Tomorrow, trying to get to the other side of that there wall.